This is Paul from ReviewOutlaw.com. Uh, in a previous video, I was showing you cutting the wine bottles and making a wine bottle chandelier. I actually looked online for these at like $1,000. So the second, I show you one part about cutting them. This part here, this is an old wagon wheel chandelier that I bought from eBay. As you can tell, it's pretty bad. It's all rusted and you know, it needs to be replaced. What you're gonna start doing, I'm gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna use these fixtures, but I'm actually gonna refinish everything. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna probably put the wine bottles through here. But as you can see, it's a good place to start because it's very old. It's actually got real metal and everything. I'm gonna pull all this out and start rewiring it. And that's the first part. Today I'm going to be working and hanging, starting to put together the light, the wagon wheel light. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna drill holes here in each spot and put these black hooks in so I can start assembling the old chain and stuff that we repainted and everything to get it hanging. What we do here is I want to put, uh, when I'm putting the hooks in, I want to put them this way. So when the chain goes in, it can't get out. You want the hole facing out. I've drilled pilot holes in here like this and each, right around each one. I've done this. I There's a piece of metal on here so I know make it screw, make it stronger. So I'm going to screw these in. And what's easy to do with hooks like this is once it starts to get hard just take a screwdriver stick it and turn it till it's right where you want it like the other ones and then i'm just going to repeat this all the way around now when we start assembling this what we got to do is we got to put these chain pieces back all the wiring is going to run. I'm going to snake it through the chains. All going to come out here. I'm going to tie all the wires together in here. This is going to go here. This is going to go inside. I'll show you when I put it together. That's going to make the hook to hang it from the ceiling. So all this stuff now we got to put together and all that is a matter of assembling all these pieces back together. One of the things I want to show you is how we're going to get the light fixture, which I bought just online from, on, I think it was Amazon, really cheap gives you the socket and the cord, cut the end off. You're gonna be putting it into the middle there when we redo it. One of the things I'm doing though to hold this in is, you see the cork? All I'm doing is taking the cork in a drill bit and putting the cork in a vise and drilling the center out of it. This way when I do this, it's gonna keep the wine bottle, it's gonna keep the wine bottle cord snug and level. Now, one of the things that I noticed just by accident was if you, you're looking for corks, the synthetic corks are actually the better ones for this because I noticed the synthetic cork actually holds this tight. So when it's hanging, hangs just fine. But when you want to get the bulb out, it really holds the cord. You got to really push the cord out to get this to lower. So the synthetic seems to hold the cords much better. So what we did with you like I said, we used the hammer paint and I've actually redone these. This is gonna be the junction box where all the wires are gonna come out. So you're gonna have it, oops, like this. The wires are gonna snake through this here. And they're gonna go in through this here and then this is gonna be like this. This is gonna hang from the ceiling. As you can see, I've redone it. I'm kinda of lazy, I didn't redo this part. As you can see, you won't see that because it's gonna be up almost at the ceiling where that's the side that's gonna show. So it looks like re-antiqued. I actually took the gold and took it all off with grinders. You're trying to leave that like patina and everything to it. So this is the bottom part that you're gonna see from there. What I've done is I'm gonna run this through and this will hold down. All as this is, is I drilled the cork. I made this so when this is here, I can actually just snake it down if I had to change my bulb. These bulbs, believe it or not, are actually LED Edison's. So they're still LED. Edison bulb, 60 watt. You gotta change them, change them out, and then when these are hanging, you just pull it up like this, and it's back in the container. These will run through the chain to here and hang, and that's where we are right now. I started wiring it. All we're doing is drilling the cork, pulling the thing through, coming through here, snaking it through here, and bringing all the wires into here, which you tie together, put there. All I do is take this piece, this is one of those cords, just buy it on Amazon, 
put it with the bottle, pull it through there, and then lace it through the cork, just like so, with the hanging part of it. Result of the wine bottle chandelier light. If you look over here, what I did was I took a pendant light, took power from this, have electrician always do that, but right through there. Coming down, I weave this through the chain. In that part where it's hanging right there, that's where all your wires from here make a junction box, and they all junction into there and come out. So that's where you put all your wires together. What I've done here is I've made, like I said, the cork that you can slip in and out. Change the bulb is very easy because it sticks to here. It just comes right out, no problem, when you're gonna change your bulb. But that is the finished product. And one other thing I'd like to add, when you're doing something like this, these Edison bulbs are the new style Edison LED. And that's very important because when you're stealing power off something like this, this fixture here is LED and so is this. So you don't have to worry about overloading a circuit or anything because they're using hardly any power than if you just had incandescence in that one. And that's it.